Hey yo, greetings my viewers and subscribers Zion coming at you again with yet another Bob Marley classic Another hit Now if this is your very first time tuning into this channel You bumped in however you got here I'm gonna ask for your support Support me by hitting that subscribe button down there Hit the notification bell Hit all so whenever I post a new video Whatever I post You will be alerted You will be the first to know Now without any further ado Let me show you how to play Bob Marley's Real situation An electric guitar Grab yours. Let's go. Check out the real situation. Nation war against nation. Where did it all begin? When will it end? Well, it seems like total destruction. Only solution. Ain't no use, nobody can stop them now Ain't no use, nobody can stop them now Alright my people, so let me tell you about this song for a second Let me tell you about the structure of the song This song is in the key of G, G major, one of my favorite keys It has, um... A stock line, I'm not sure if the stock line play all the way through the song, you know, but there is a stock line. Um, intro, verse, and the bridge. The bridge comes in the, um, in the verse, like every time the verse com comes around, there is a bridge to it, you know. Quite simple though, right? There's also a little riff there that you probably want to learn, a very sweet one. And I'm going to show you guys how to play that, all right? Now remember... Watch the video in full for you to learn everything. My bad. Touching that mic there. Watch the video in full so you can learn everything. Alright. So. Let's. Let's get to that. Cool. So again. If you do not know. The song properly. If you don't know the structure of the song. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and listen to the original. And then come back here. In fact I will leave a link to the original song. In the description. So always remember to check the description my people. Alright. So. Okay. So let's get to the song. The first card of course. The root card G. So you want to bar the whole. Third fret with the pointer finger. Place the middle finger on the third string of the fourth fret. Place the pinky finger on the fourth string of the fifth fret. Ring finger on the 5th string of the 5th fret. And if you've been following me for a while now, you should know how to play this, right? So, that's your G major right there. The second card, bar the whole, 3rd fret with the pointer finger. Still, you want to place that ring finger on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th string of the 5th fret. And that's your four. One, two, or four. Remember, on that four you want to play, you, do not, you want to exclude the thicker string and just have it there for stability. Cool. And the last st string is optional. Alright, so you want to strum in the middle there. So, um, one to the four. And that will be the intro. You're going to play two rounds of that. Right? Then you are going to get to the verse. Right? I remember I haven't touched that arm little riff that you play there as yet in the intro. But anyways, I'm gonna touch that. So look out for that. That's coming up very soon. Cool. So to the verse, you're gonna play the same thing. Then that's when the bridge picks up. So here we go again now. So it goes. Check out the real situation. Nation war against nation. Then you move to back to the one. Where did it all begin? That's where the five comes in. So again, check out the real situation. Da 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 da. Then one to the five. All right. So that five right there is like you're playing the four, but you just want to push it up a hole. Hope you guys are following. All right. But then you're going to quickly move to the six, which is going to be the E minor. 
So pay attention, it goes. Check out the real situation. Nation war against nation. Where did it all begin? Right, that's a six. Alright, so that's six. You want to buy the whole seven fret. Place the middle finger on the second string, eight fret. Pinky finger on the third string, nine fret. Ring finger on the fourth string, ninth fret. There we are. And of course, to get a sweeter sound, lift the pinky finger. You will get that E minor seventh. Cool. So now, but of course, I'm sure you you heard that little little slide there, right? So it's just the same formation. You just wanna place it. You just wanna drop a um half down and slide in. So here is the demonstration. I'm going to go slow. Check out the real situation. This is the verse. Nation war against nation. Then, back to the one. Where did it all begin? To the five. You want to strike the five one more time. Then you jump to. Actually, you jump into that E flat minor to the E minor. So, so pay attention to this. To the five, which is a D, then E flat minor, sliding into the E minor. Okay, here we go now. Check out the bass situation. Nation war against nation. Where did it all begin? When did it end? As you realize, when I get to that E minor, I play only two times. Then I jump straight. So back to the four. I showed you all the cards. It's the one. You have a four. You have a five. You are. You have a six. Everything else, you know. Pay attention as I move on these cards. All right. Of course, remember that. Slide in from the E flat minor to the E minor, or the E flat minor seven to the E minor E minor seven. You know, whichever one you choose. So again, I'm gonna go slow. Check out the peace situation. Nation war against nation. Now we're gonna go to the five. Read it all to the five. Slide back to the four. Well, let's see one. Total to the five. Only save to the one. To the four. Ain't no way you keep playing that. No bangin' stopping now. My bad. Ain't no use, nobody can stop it now. So that's just basically one, four, one, four, one, four. All right? Hope you guys got that. So on to that little riff that plays in the intro. You'll hear it in the intro and also every time he goes, Ain't no use, nobody can stop it now. You know, well, that is actually that, that's that little riff right there. Alright, so to play that, you want to bar, you know, just for stability, you want to bar the 7th fret. Alright, it's like you're farming that E minor, but you're removing that, well, you know what, let me just call it down the, the note. So, middle finger on the 2nd string 7th fret, no, 8th fret, my bad, 2nd string, 8th fret, ring finger on the 3rd string, 9th fret. Cool. So, but you're not going to just play like that, you're going to be hammering on, on, the, on both of them. But now, the next move is, keep that bar still, you're going to hammer on with the ring finger on the 4th string of the ninth fret. But you are going to be playing the 4th string and the 3rd string. So you're going to get this so far. Again. Now, for the third move, you want to go down to the fifth fret with the same position and you want to do the same thing as previous. So again, from the first part. After that third one, you want to lift the ring finger and play that string. You want to head on over to the fifth string with the ring finger. 
All right, so here are all the moves. My bad. Those are the moves. And of course, when you're playing it, it's not gonna be, you know, it's not gonna come off perfect. And that's a good thing about music, you know. Once you stay within the key, you know, sometimes you're gonna miss a few strings, and it is okay. All right. So that's it for that part. And here's a demonstration. On to the stock line, right? A stock line is a guitar line that accompanies the bass line, right? Like I said before, I'm not sure if they played all the way through the song, but I'm going to play everything so you guys can choose whatever you want, all right? So, of course, it sounds like this. <laughs> That is basically it for the stock line right there. Alright. So I'm going to play it slow for you guys. Then I'm going to give you a demonstration. Alright. So here we go now. I want you to listen and I want you to watch where I put all the fingers. I'm going to move a bit up. I could always play it here in one place. But I get a better song when I move around. Alright. So here we go. To the G. So I make sure that it rings out so you guys can hear it properly. But when you're playing it on the record, to silence it a little bit and you must always remember to place that palm right here it's called palm palm <laughs> palm palm muting all right so remember that here's a demonstration people that is how you play Bob Marley's real situation on electric guitar now I hope it was not too complicated you know if there's anything that I could have done to make it easier you know or more you know simple for you guys to understand you know let me know drop it down there in the comment section you know if you have a request drop it down there also now remember my name and remember to subscribe to the channel remember to hit the notification bell remember to hit also whenever I post anything you will be alerted my name is Zion blessed love peace out see you next time